This is our reflection number 14 in our Table Talk series based on the Gospel of Mark. We come in contact with a moment in Jesus' life when He is walking along with His disciples and He asks them this question. And the question is found in Mark chapter 8 verse 27 through 29 into verse 30. And He says, who do people say that I am? It's a great question because Jesus' popularity is growing as the Gospel of Mark unfolds. We see how he is introducing people to the Kingdom of Heaven through the miracles, through the teachings, through the healings. But then Jesus just is curious, like, who do people say that I am? And, and they respond with, you know, John the Baptist, Elijah, the, one of the prophets, and good crowd to be involved in. If, if you want to be lumped in with some people, that's a good crowd. And, but then he says, who do you say that I am? And like Peter, he's quick to respond. And like, he's like the voice of the, of the group of the disciples. And he says, um, he says, you are the Christ. There's something that I wanted us to think about in our reflection is this simple truth that emerges from the verse 27. It says, And Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples. Recently I was talking to a group of um, young professionals, and we were talking about what does it mean to be a friend of Jesus? And so there's all kinds of different answers and perspectives. And then I said, what does it mean to develop your friendship with Jesus? One of them said, well, it's inviting him into every decision. And he said, there was a time where he was learning to invite Jesus into his everyday situations. Even when he was driving his car, he'd pull up to a stop sign and he would say out loud, Jesus, which way do you want me to go, left or right? And it was interesting because it, left and right wasn't the point. It was the invitation of Jesus into the moment and the development of the friendship with Him. See, I think there are times that we look at Jesus as a fringe character of our lives that is over here grouped with this group of people like John the Baptist, Elijah and the prophets. And, and the reality of this moment is that Jesus was walking with them and on the way he asked them this question, who do you say that I am? I, I want to present this thought to you that as you learn to journey with Jesus, you begin to realize that Jesus is and can be part of every part of your life. That when you are in a conversation, that you're when you're going into a board meeting, when you're going into a leadership meeting, when you're standing at the assembly line in your, in your workplace, that we're essentially inviting Him into our journey along the way. And in each situation, we ask ourselves the question that He asked the disciples, Who are you, Jesus, in the midst of this moment? Because as we walk and journey with Him, our friendship with Him begins to grow and develop and strengthen. And so I guess as I wrap up this reflection for us, I ask you this question, how do you invite Him into your everyday? How do you invite Him into your drive to work? to your interactions at the office, or whatever it is, at school, in your dorm room, in your home, how can we integrate the reality and the presence of Jesus in everyday scenarios and situations? See, He's not there just to, to help us when life gets difficult. He literally wants to journey with us. Matter of fact, he said to his disciples at one point in his interaction with them, he says, you are my friend. You are my friends. So I want you to just take a few moments as you reflect on this moment with, with Jesus and the disciples and the answer of Peter saying, you are the Christ. 
maybe that's where we get to is we understand Peter's response with, you are the Christ, you are the Messiah, you are the one who has come for me and you want to walk with me and journey with me. Take some time to reflect on Jesus being your friend and walking with you.